setting up to do the, the complex and the whole sort of environmental design, we wanted to create something that had a lot of uh, sort of color to it, not make your average, uh, you know, brown or uh, next-gen gray type uh, art direction. We wanted something that was sort of potent in colors and, and uh, were, of course, heavily inspired by, you know, Ridley Scott stuff like uh, the uh, first Alien movie and stuff like that. The quality we've managed to get to, we're really happy with. And uh, I, I think uh, people will sort of appreciate um, all the work we put down on it in the end. I hope. The sort of style of the environments are purposely picked to sort of start off in something that registers as something natural, normal, something you can understand, something you re understand when you look at it, you, you understand what it is. It's not necessarily um, too sci-fi or too weird or too... It's actually trying to establish some sort of normal baseline for, for what the environment um, was, but also sort of rooted in some sort of um, reality. And then as, as players progress through the game, this will of course change and, and uh, become, I guess, weirder and weirder. <laughs>